Tipsters and Tricksters, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Veggie Tips and Tricks video. Today's one is a little fun one, I'm doing something a little bit different. I recently purchased this book here, which is a gorgeous book written by Audrey Hepburn's son about her cooking and snippets of her life as well. So a little memoir if you will, but the recipes are really simple and very classic and it's filled with pasta recipes, which apparently Audrey was absolutely mad about. And I just thought it would be super, super fun to make an Audrey recipe and see how it is. So this is really a pretty simple recipe for spaghetti al pomodoro. I'm allergic to gluten, so I'm using this spiral pasta, but the other ingredients are pretty much your standard fare for pasta recipes. I started by chopping up an onion and also cutting up the celery and the carrot that the recipe called for. There's no garlic in this recipe, which is pretty new to me, but I guess we'll see how that turns out. I don't know if anyone is into food porn of the cutting kind, but I really like watching people cut vegetables on YouTube and I find it very, very calming. I don't know what it is. So hopefully this is doing it for you guys. Then I just lit the stove and got the pan nice and hot before tipping in the tomatoes. I used two cans of Italian tomatoes and then I just added the chopped up veggies and gave it a good old mix around. The recipe then said to pop the lid on and leave it on high for 10 minutes. So there's a couple of things that I've changed about the recipe. The first obviously being tinned tomatoes. I haven't come across any places locally that have good tomatoes. They're all pretty tasteless and flowery and very firm. I thought the best alternative would be to buy Italian tomatoes, even though they are canned, at least I know the taste is good and the quality of the sauce will be better that way than if I'm using crappy tomatoes that I buy from the supermarket or from a local store because as I say I haven't found anything decent here and I'm not heading to the market. The second thing is that the recipe said to leave the carrot and the celery whole. I did chop them up and I'm going to blend them into the sauce. In the recipe the vegetables do get blended into the sauce it's just that if there's any large chunks you take them out but I just figured the result is exactly the same if I chop it up so there we go. Once the 10 minutes was up and things were bubbling away, I lifted the lid to see what was going on in there and things were looking pretty good and smelling pretty good too. I gave it a good old mix and I chopped up some basil leaves as per the recipe. It said to put six basil leaves in. Gave that a stir around and then I also added the olive oil. Then I just had to let it cook down. The recipe said that I needed to let it cook until the bubbles on top became little craters like this and the water was absorbed. I just realized I don't have any vegan parmesan, so I want this to be as authentic as possible, so I'm going to go to the local health food store and get some. Be right back. Of course, I went all the way in and they didn't have it today, but I will make my own vegan parmesan with walnuts and nutritional yeast and garlic powder. And finally, it was time to cook the pasta. Now, I have heard that pasta water should be salty as the sea, so I added plenty of salt before chucking my pasta in and making my parmesan. The recipe then said to blend everything all together once it had cooled down, which I did. I did use a little bit of the pasta water to get it a bit more liquid, and then I served everything up. Look at this pretty baby. And at least it's the same color as the pasta Audrey serving on the front of the book, so I think maybe I've done well here. So, time to get it on in me. Let's give this a go. Hmm. Hmm. It is very yummy. It's a very, very simple taste. But I think the tip of cooking the pasta sauce long enough that everything mixes well together and the sugars start breaking down it makes for a sweeter sauce and this has definitely achieved that so that's very cool I'm used to having a lot of garlic in my pasta so it's interesting not to have that in there but the flavor of the tomatoes and the basil is really 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 good so I highly recommend this one I must say and it's fun to just try a go-to pasta recipe of Audrey's which is it's just very cool to try out something that she loved doing and from what I've read she enjoyed pasta but she liked the really simple straightforward Italian pastas. If any of you guys have the recipe book, do let me know. And if any of you actually try making this recipe, please do tag me on Instagram and show me your culinary skills. I would love to see it. Mm. So 
that's the video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video or if you have ideas for future videos or more Audrey videos. Come and follow my Instagram. Join us in the Vintage Tips and Tricks Facebook group. We would love to have you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!